Okay, so what's next on the to-do list here for accessories on the Bonneville? Well, I got a windshield. Um, this is a Madstat. So the reason I went with it is because it's quick release. You can remove it when you don't want to use it. Um, but it also, it, it sits up so some, some air can get in. How do I say this? Some air can get in under the bottom of the windshield. So you don't get that turbulence behind the windshield, which is what makes, you know, buffeting and get, get your head rocking back and forth. Um, so that was one of the reasons I went with this one. Um, like I say, it's a mad stad. Um, I had one little hole in the side of the box. Um, so I don't know if that, hope all the parts are in here. hope I didn't lose anything. Uh, they seem to pack them pretty well. Now, the only problem I had when I got this windshield, when I ordered it, was like a few days after I ordered it, they decided to upgrade all their machinery. And uh, it took a long time to get it. It took like, I don't know what it was, a month or something like that. Um, 15 days, I don't know, it took a long time. Uh, they did keep me informed. They kept sending me notices saying that it was in, in manufacturing. Um, I also got this because the windshield is not ridiculously big. I didn't want a giant windshield and I didn't want a little tiny one that's not going to do you any good. And what I want a windshield for is when I'm touring. Oh, very cool. Everything is... Uh... Ooh, look. Got a sticker. Got a sticker for the toolbox. That's always a cool thing. Um, so yeah, looks like everything's packed real well. You can see it's not a huge windshield. It's just going to keep some of that wind off of my chest when I'm, you know, doing long rides on a tour or something like that. So let's see if I can cut the rest of this off. This is all the mounting brackets and the instructions. Now, if I ever put handlebar risers on here. I may have to readjust some of these brackets, um, but I'm going to put it on for now because it might be a long time before I do the handle, the handlebar risers. Um, that's not like super big priority for me right now. Well, packaged well. <laughs> See if I can cut this open. <laughs> a bunch of little kittens out here. Alright, there's a couple of brackets. Looks like this is part of the quick release portion. Very well made. I really like that. All metal. Let's see. Get this open without cutting my fingers. Ooh, the all important instructions. Hardware bag. Pretty impressive. Ah, this must be part of the quick release mechanism here. That's pretty cool. Now this is adjustable, you see here, um, it's adjustable for height and also for the angle of the windshield. So that's all important in getting it set so you don't have wind buffeting. So, let's, uh, I'm going to shut the camera off for a little while and I'm going to see what it takes to install these.
Okay, they give you a pretty nice set of instructions. They give you a little bag of hardware for everything you need. Um, these are your main mounting brackets. And it says that these little brackets here, these go on first. And it's pretty you know, explanatory. It says remove the lower fork clamp bolt and attach the bottom tab, tab with it. Orient the tab so that it sits vertical parallel to the fork, then tighten. Repeat on the other side. And it also says on the top here, you read this one first, and it says uh, the image at right shows the components for the quick release fork mount base. The large mount and the large main brackets attached to the top fork clamp. The small tabs attached to the bottom fork clamp bolt and they connect together to form a complete bracket. They are in two separate parts because you do not want to loosen both fork clamp bolts at the same time. Your fork tube could slip out of position. So that's pretty thoughtful. Um, they had enough foresight to realize that it would be a lot easier just to bolt the two brackets together and mount them one at a time. So basically what they're saying is, see if I can get my camera over here. I'll get you set up so you can see what's going on. Basically what they're telling you is, just loosen this bolt and one of these is going to go right in here. And then you tighten it back up. So, I'm going to pause, get a wrench, and do that. Okay, so it recommends doing one side at a time. I have a 8mm Allen, or a hex head wrench on a ratchet. So I'm going to loosen this. No nut on the back side, it just threads into the triple tree. I'm going to loosen that. Let's see, do we got Loctite on these threads? Let's see what we got. A little bit. So I'm going to put a little bit more back on. Um, let's see, make, make sure I get this oriented right. Where's my Loctite? Just put a little, a little blue on it. It's got some on it already, but you know, you don't want to, when you loosen a fastener up, you lose some of that, so I want to reapply. And I just got, you know, the old, the gel stick. I like that because it doesn't run all over the place and make a mess. All right, so, goes on like so. I took a look at the picture to make sure I was getting it on the right way. So we're gonna run that in. And I think it just runs parallel to the fork tube. So I'll kind of line it up a little bit and then torque it down. Ah, it's moving on me. Of course that was gonna happen. Problem is, it's hard to hold and stay out of the camera view at the same time. And I'm going to tap that in a little bit with a hammer. I can't seem to hold it. There we go. All right, I'm going to pause and do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so the next thing it tells you is little adhesive bumpers. They stick on to the back of the bolts on these brackets right here. So I've got two of these, so I'm going to take a minute here. I'm going to put the adhesive into they give you these little four little rubber bumpers and they just stick on. So, and what it says is that those rub up against the fork brackets and they just give you those so that they don't uh, scratch up the fork. Again, kind of a nice, you know, thoughtful little touch. Okay, so next thing it tells you to do, remove the upper triple tree bolt here. Uh, 
and then loosely connect that bracket to the lower bracket to the lower tree bolt that you put on um, and then you can put a couple six millimeter screws in there to hold it into place so what I'm going to do let's see if I can get this set up so I can give you a view here Okay, first thing I got to do is take that bolt out right there. Okay, this one is uh, a little smaller than the lower. This is only a six millimeter. So I put this extension on here with this six millimeter Allen wrench so that I stay away from my clock so I don't bang them around or scratch them up. So now I'm going to remove this bolt. And it says to replace it with longer bolts. They give you the longer bolts. So you, I'm going to replace it with a longer bolt, and it gives you a little aluminum spacer. So I'm going to pull this out, and then I'm going to grab the longer bolt and the little aluminum spacer. Uh -oh, where did it go? I know I got one. Oh, there it is. And I'm also going to put a little Loctite on the bolt. So, what do we got? We got the bracket, and you're going to put the bolt through, and then the spacer. Pretty simple. And then I like to use this stick Loctite, because it doesn't drip and run all over the place and make a mess. So I just put some of that on the threads. And then you're going to run this in instead of the short bolt that you just took out. So I'm going to get this started finger tight and then I'm going to get a couple of the bolts in the bottom just to hold it in alignment. Now it tells you to use basically the screw, a washer, and a lock nut. So I'm going to put the washer on the screw and let's see if I can get you over here where you can see what I'm doing. A little hard because the sun's on the other side and it's not lit up real real well but I think you'll get the idea so put the screw through put the lock nut on the back side and this just helps to hold everything in alignment so you can tighten everything down so same story screw, washer, lock nut. Come on, baby. Okay, so that little Allen screw is a four millimeter. Yep, four millimeter. I got a 10 millimeter to hold the nut on the back side. And I'm just going to snug these up a little bit. I'm not going to go really, really tight with them yet until I get the top bolt tightened down. Once I get that tightened down, then I'll come back and I'll snug these up all the way. Like I said, this is just to hold you in alignment. All right, so now I'll tighten up that top bolt all the way. feels good and now I can snug up them bottom bolts and that should give you a pretty rigid mount okay now I'll do the same thing on the other side 
Okay, now we're down to the scariest part of every windshield installation I've ever done. Actually putting the hardware onto your nice new windshield that doesn't have a scratch on it. <laughs> and trying not to scratch it. So what I did is I put the plastic washer on. It goes to the outside onto the screw. And I push the screw through the hole. And then push this rubber washer on to the back side. And that will kind of help hold everything in place. So far, I really like the size of this windshield. You know, I, of course, I haven't had any seat of the pants experience with it actually going down the highway, but I've had enough bikes with the windshields to know I didn't want one that was really giant. I didn't want one that was too small because that's pretty much just for show. If I'm going to have a windshield on here, I want it to do what it's supposed to do. I want it to block the wind off my chest, protect me from debris and bugs and whatnot, um, and hopefully not have a lot of wind buffeting. Now these screws on here are a little different. Um, they're Phillips head, whereas everything else so far has been Allen wrench. So let's see if I can find a Phillips. And then I'm gonna hold this up to the bike and see if I can get this on without scratching the windshield. So I'm going to bring you over here, kind of try to get your position on the side so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to get everything started kind of loosely. Okay, come on now, don't scratch the windshield. Not yet. you got lots of years to do that. Okay, I'm going to try to get this box out of the way before I snug everything down. This has nuts that are mounted to the back of this rubber sleeve and as you tighten this up that rubber sleeve as it pulls in it expands onto the back of the bracket. And then as you tighten it down you can see the rubber washer it flattens out and it kind of expands a little bit too. So it doesn't have to go, as I put it, gorilla tight, just snug. Make sure that it pulls that, that back washer in, and when you see the front washer expand, you're good. Doesn't take a lot. Now, uh, this, these windshields come in different heights. I'm not a real tall guy. I'm only 5'9". Um, I, uh, 
I don't have a real tall torso. So I, I did some careful measurements. I, I called them up and they told me how to measure for this. And I wanted a windshield that I can look over the top of. So right now it's set at its lowest position. So I'm gonna see, let's extend this tripod, hold on. Okay, so I've got this set about about the height that the uh, windshield is and I'm gonna sit on the bike and see how it if I can look over the top of it or not oh yeah this is awesome you know so it kind of comes in you know right around here now this windshield can adjust up oh, it can adjust the angle back and it gives you some instruction on how to do that so I think I'm going to try it at first on its lowest setting and it just it's just a couple of knobs to adjust it so it's not a big deal so it says let me see if I can show you in the instructions what it says what did I do with them it says Also something kind of cool it says here that uh, you can get lower deflectors which you know I don't know I may or may not get those um, adjusting the windshield brackets it says um, the basic starting position I don't know if you can see this or not it says the basic starting position of the windshield should be to angle it at about the same angle as your fork maybe back slightly more and set the top edge of the shield to be at about your chin level as you look straight ahead tighten the knobs and go for a ride to see if the air flows smoothly over your helmet do this on a calm day at all possible windy days make it hard to judge the airflow don't ever try to adjust the mount while in motion all right so they also give you this little little gauge on the back um, but I don't know if this is really really necessary it's pretty self-explanatory as far as how it works um, right now let's see right now it's back just a little bit so if let's see I'm gonna loosen this up I'll bring you over here so you can see maybe you can see what I'm doing Now this is going to be a trial and error thing. You're going to have to actually ride the bike and see how it does. But just to get in an initial setting, I'm going to loosen up this and I'm going to loosen up this. Right now it's leaned back a little bit further than the angle of the fork. So if I push it forward a little bit, Oh, it's on detents too. That's kind of cool. That's a little far forward. Let's go back one detent. And then you look at it in relationship. Okay, it might be slightly back from the angle of the fork. And I would try it like this. Now the thing that I like about this is if I want to just do some city riding, riding around, I can pop that windshield off. But yet if I want to go on a trip or whatever and I'm going to spend a lot of time at higher speeds all day on the road, um, it'll give me the protection that I'm looking for. So let's see if I can get an idea of what it looks like when I sit on the bike. And. Uh, the, the the windscreen in relationship to my head or my chin so it says it wants this here about chin level 
so I can't really tell if it is or not all I do know is is that I can see over the top I have a real good view over the top I think that it's probably going to take the wind up over my head there again I won't know until I actually get out and try it out and see how it does um, but I think it's going to really block a lot of this wind off of my chest when I'm on a long trip so um, I like it it's not there again I keep saying this about every accessory that I put on here it's not too big and I like that it's big enough to get the job done to give you some protection but it's not a giant windshield you know a lot of the little bikini windshields I call them you know they only come up to here that's just cosmetic um, I want it to actually work I want it to actually do what a windshield is supposed to do so if I stand back and look at it it's not it's not over the top it's not giant I can live with that alrighty that's all there was to installing the Madstad windshield there really wasn't a whole lot to it it was really pretty simple and pretty straightforward I really liked the engineering of the brackets and how everything went together um, we'll see how it goes maybe in the fall you know when it gets cooler I might order the lowers which you know give you a little wind protection on your legs but for the summer right now I don't need them uh, we'll see maybe I'll do that later in the fall so that's all I got for today if you like my videos like subscribe hit that notification button comment ask questions um, there'll be more talk to you soon